Today we're going to compare the Lightphone 2, the Mudita Pure, and also the Punk Tempe Zero 2. Three minimalist devices. These are the best minimalist devices available in the market right now. So if you're looking for something extremely simple and something that actually works, I will say it's one of these three right here. And I'm going to be comparing the different features and different things that they have. Uh, let's start first by the hardware. So this uh, right here is the iPhone 2. It's a touchscreen device. So navigation is going to be via touchscreen, as you see right here. Um, and of course, you will have a couple of advantages when it comes to certain areas. It's definitely the smallest of them all. And the iPhone 2 does have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, but it does have a micro USB charger. Now that it may be a little bit of a bummer, but this device was released in 2019. The Punk Tempe Zero 2, this is the new generation, which was released, I believe, in 2021 or 2020, late 2020 or early 2021. I don't recall right now. But this one is, again, a unique device. It does have USB-C, no 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. It does have an LCD screen, as you see right here. And navigation is via the buttons. Uh, here, the Mudita Pure is kind of like a combination of the two. It's definitely the largest of them all, as you can see in the video and the sizing. Um, right there. And essentially, this one has an e-ink screen and you navigate via the buttons. And it's pretty responsive, pretty reliable. This is an uh, operating system built from scratch from Mudita. I believe it's based on Linux. It does have this button, which is actually one of my favorite features of the Mudita Pure. And what it does is it changes between three modes. Do not disturb, offline, and then you have the connected mode, which is you know, kind of like just your regular thing. So if you want to be do not disturb or offline, uh, which means it kills, the, it kills the modem to a certain time, or you can put it in intervals of 30 minutes, or you can kill it altogether. If you don't want to be bothered, then you also have that capability right there. So that is a little bit of how they work. Uh, and this one has a USB-C and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So very welcome volume rockers. And it does have a flashlight right here, very easily accessible. And you have the ability to turn it on by uh, hard pressing uh, that button right there. Now, let's go into a little bit more of feature parity. So what do these have in common? What do they not have in common? Uh, so let's go first with the contacts. So if you go to your contacts list, so here we're going to go to phone. We're going to go to our contacts. Let's say that we want to add a contact. There you have it. Here we have an address book that gets us to our contacts and things of that nature. Uh, let's say that we want to add a contact right there. Uh, this will have first name, last name, number, uh, nickname, email, address, and you can even add a note. So that is the Punk Tempe Zero 2. For the contacts in the Mudita Pure, you can add a contact, first name, last name, phone number, second phone number, email, um, address, add to favorites in case of emergency, note, et cetera, et cetera. For the Lightphone 2, it prompts you to add a phone number. So let's, you know, just put a phone number right here. Um, and then next, you will add a first name. You will add a last name. And then you save it. And right there, that's essentially it. That's all you can do with uh, this specific uh, device. So a little bit more limited, uh, but definitely simple. Uh, so um, I'll remember to delete it later. It's not like I'm going to be calling that number since it's a fake number. Uh, now, when it comes to extra features, uh, let's go to the next thing that we can compare uh, between these three. And one of them does not have it is music. So here we have the music on the Lightphone 2. And here we have the music on the Mudita Pure and the Punk Tempe Zero 2 does not have this capability. So for example, uh, let's say I play a tune right there. I'm going to put it back and I start playing. Essentially, you know, I will start playing right there. And then if I lock it, if I lock my device, it will show up on the home screen. And if I press this key right here, which is the middle key, which is kind of like the menu key, so I long press it, it will bring me back to the music player. And I can pause it anytime I want, you know, things of that nature, whatever it is that I want to do. You also have the ability to do shuffling. So if you want to shuffle between your playlists, you have the ability to repeat uh, all of them or just one, uh, actually just one song. It's like if you repeat, you repeat one song. It doesn't have an all repeat. It will just continue going essentially. And then you have the ability to uh, cast it to a Bluetooth device. So if you have a Bluetooth device that you have connected before, you can just have it in there. For the Mudita Pure, it's a little bit more limited. It does have the ability to play your tunes. It does still not have artists, albums, or playlists, even though it's grayed out right here, but it doesn't allow you to uh, organize it like that. The Lightphone 2 still doesn't allow you to organize it like that either. But right here, if we want to play a tune, we're playing 
Nick Lewis, always with you. But right here, you can skip it, you can go back, things of that nature. But if you wanna go back and maybe check out something on the home screen or maybe a message or whatever, then you will have to quit altogether. It doesn't have the ability to play in the background like the Light Phone 2. The Punk 10 PC 2 just does not have any kind of, um, it does not have any kind of uh, music player. So that's a little bit of a bummer. Uh, now when it comes to calendar, so these two have a calendar, but I wouldn't really call it a functional calendar. The Light Phone 2 has said, uh, team has said that they are bringing a calendar now in February. Uh, so maybe uh, I'll definitely be making a video on that so you can kind of compare later how on that video, how this works. But as of right now, the calendar on the Mudita Pure and on the Punk MP02 uh, essentially just shows you the date. It doesn't really tell you allow you to put any events for the Light Phone 2. They haven't released it. And whenever they release it, at least I know from what I've seen is that it's going to have contact uh, syncing, like calendar syncing for it with your different calendars online. And it will have the ability to add events. But as of right now, these have not developed any calendar. They just show you the date, which honestly, I would rather not have it uh, instead of have it kind of like an underdevelop. Uh, now we can go to more feature parity, which is alarms. So alarm clocks right here. Uh, this one's very simple. It just allows you to put the alarm clock. So boom, right there. And it's just for one day. So you have to put it every day or activate it again and again and again. Uh, pretty much every day, if you put different alarms, you activate them and that's it. Uh, the Mudita Pure and the Punk Tempe Zero 2 do have extra functionality. Uh, let's say that you add your alarm. You can put once a day, every day, weekdays, weekends, or specified days. Same thing with the um, Mudita Pure, never every day, weekdays, or custom, which allows you to prompt and just select, oh, I want it on Tuesday and on Wednesday, or you know, whichever one it is, the one that you prefer. So a little bit better alarm layout right here on the Mudita Pure and the Punk MP02, and more of a simple one, still functional for the Light Phone 2. Now let's go back to more things that we can actually compare, which is notes. So let's go to the menu, let's go to our notes, and we're going to go back here. As I see, as I said, like, you know, na navigation is via the keypad right here. So uh, let's go to notes and we are going to go to tools right here, notes. And if you want to add a new note, you can do it in two ways with the light phone and only in one way with the Mudita Pure and the Punk Tempe 2. With the Punk Tempe 2, you have to type. So right here, we're going to, we have predictive text. So hello, right there. Uh, this is a note. This is a note right there. So we have the ability to type that. Uh, here, same thing. Options, uh, copy or paste the text, but essentially we have triple click. This one doesn't have predictive text, which we'll talk about a little bit more in the messaging section. All right there. Hello. You can save the note. You can edit it. You can delete it, things of that nature. Um, and that's essentially it for these two. But for the Light Phone 2, you have, of course, keypad navigation. You can either dictate the note. So we have the ability here to dictate it uh, via text. And I think I don't have really good coverage, so it's not picking up. Um, so we're going to see. Let's see. This is a note. And I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, well, there it is. Uh, I guess we have better connectivity in that area. <laughs> we have the, oh, it's kind of processing everything that I have done before. Uh, and right there, as you see, it's typing uh, pretty much everything that I have said before. And that's a note that's via text. It's still text notes. It's not voice based uh, fully, but it's essentially a transcription of what we're saying right there. Uh, and it's pretty much picking up everything that I didn't, uh, that I said before. So as you see right there, the engine is processing pretty much everything. Uh, we're going to just retry that. We're going to exit. Um, and right there you have, that is one way to do a note. And the second way is actually an audio note. So here we have an audio note and it will essentially just record uh, everything that I say. So I can record what I'm saying. And after that, I can pause it or, you know, and then I can play it. Oh, it's not going to.
Yep. And there it is. It's an audio recorded note. We're not going to save it since, you know, it's kind of just an example. But there you have it. So with the Lightphone 2, you have access to written notes, transcription notes, and audio notes. With the Mudita Pure and the Punk MP02, um, you have access to written notes only. And I believe, yeah, there is no recorder type. I believe there is no recorder part. Okay, next thing that we can compare, again, still feature parity, is a calculator. So you have a calculator right here uh, for all of these devices. And 5 plus 5 equals 10. 5. And here, I believe, uh, help. Let's see. I, I don't remember how to put it. I'll press star for that and press pound for everything else. Okay, so plus, let's see, plus 5 equal no equals 10 there it is five plus five equals ten definitely the more usable ones are the mudita pure and the life on two they were just very intuitive this one i have forgotten even how to work it out but you know i'm pretty sure once you have used it a couple times and if you're somebody that uses a calculator for different things then you'll have the ability to do that then you have the point right there you have the point right here and you have the ability to uh, create parentheses and different things on the Punk MP02. Uh, basic functionality is not going to blow anybody's minds. Now, a couple of features that are not available either on the uh, Punk MP02 and the Mudita Pure from the Lightphone 2 is directions. So you have the ability to have directions and you also have the ability to have podcasts. So let's go to directions right here. Uh, I showcased it, this before in the past. I have showcased how it works. Essentially, you put your location. I'm going to put here Littleton, and then I'm going to just search a Starbucks and it will give you a list of location. Again, I'm indoors, so I'm not going to be able to, I'm not going to be able to find um, everything that I actually want. Let me see Starbucks. Uh, there it is, that one in Chatfield. If I want to drive, right there, give me a list of directions. And if I'm outside, it's actually going to get my location and it's going to give me turn by turn directions on this map. So you have different views right there. Uh, you have the ability to have a map view and kind of follow it and see how it all works. And you also kind of like can go from what's the next step, things of that nature. And, you know, it's going to guide you. Okay, how long is it? It's 5.9 miles. How is it going to work? Things of that nature. So again, directions, uh, both offline and also online by turn by turn. You also have podcasts, which is an extra ability right there uh, from the podcast. Uh, you can have different uh, episodes download. Uh, you can also have your personal episodes and personal podcasts that you prefer. You can load them on the dashboard via RSS feed and also via um, just searching them through their search engine. Um, so those are features that the Lightphone 2 has that these two do not have. Now, these two have hotspot. This one has tethering via the USB-C, kind of like putting it uh, back there. Now, a feature that the Punk MP02 has that none of the Mudita Pure or the Lightphone 2 have is Pigeon. And Pigeon, you have two ways of accessing it, one through the menu, and the other one is by holding this key right here. Uh, essentially, you will have the ability to go and do Pigeon things, which is signal uh, messenger, essentially, right there. Um, and since you have the ability to kind of create new groups and contacts and things of that nature, you will be able to uh, essentially have that functionality. Now, a caveat is that Pigeon works um, spottily. It, that it's not super reliable. So if you're trying to get this device just because it has access to Signal, uh, be advised that it may not work 100% of the time and sometimes it's just not going to work as reliably as you think it should. So even though it does have it, I would not consider it to be a very important and a sticky feature. Uh, you would be getting this more for, for the simplicity aspect than for the pigeon functionality. And that's just something that we have seen over the last couple of months, essentially. Uh, last but not least, which is extremely important. Oh, one feature that the um, Medita Pure has that these two do not have is a meditation timer. So if you practice meditation, uh, you can put the intervals to every two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes or none. And it will essentially give you a time a session for you to uh, do your meditation and then give you a chime to say, hey, you're done. 
But last but not least, but super important, is the messaging engine. So I'm going to put here my wife right there, uh, right there. We're going to send a text message. Uh, here we have the ability to create a text message. I'm going to put a whatever number right there. And then you have the punct MP02 with a message. Let's go here and new message. And then uh, probably I'll send a message to my wife as well. There it is. Okay, there you go. All right, so for the typing experience for the Light Phone 2, you have the two options. So either you can type right there, uh, you can have access to some symbols and some numbers, things of that nature. Um, and that's about it. <laughs> you know, uh, you're not going to be, you know, having tons of uh, 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 this abilities. You also have capitalization. You can put a space with this key right here uh, and you can send it. And you also have the ability to voice to type. Again, we, we saw that <laughs> it's picking up everything. Um, and uh, yeah, you have the ability to voice to type when you have a connection, you need a connection. As you see right here is very spotty. So it's not going to do it until probably later when I try to <laughs> send a real text message. Um, and that's about it. So you have that ability right there. And then the Punct MP02, we're going to see it, Punct MP02, it is uh, mainly by typing. You can do it via um, predictive text, and I believe that you can also change uh, the language. So English, Spanish, I have three right there, English, Spanish, and, and uh, German, uh, Deutsch. And here we have triple click. So if you want to do triple click instead of predictive text, you also have that capability. Uh, by pressing this key, you change one, two, three. English, US is predictive text. Uh, and ABC is triple click, of course. If you want to capitalize a letter, um, you can do this. Uh, so essentially, let's go to triple click. So let's say I want to capitalize an H. You press the H, and then you press the pound key right after, and you will have that ability. So let's press H, pound key, and it capitalizes on triple click. So that's a, a pretty nifty shortcut. And then you have the typing experience here on the Mudita Pure. You have hello uh, with triple click. Oh, yes, that's one of my... Um, difficulties right here. Uh, but you have to delete not with this key, but with the pound key. So right here. Hello. There it is. Oh. And this one does not have the ability um, to it does not have the ability to do predictive text at all or voice to type or anything else is strictly triple click. The ability that this one does have is that you can connect this device to what is called a Mudita Center via the USB to your computer, and you can type SMS, not online messages, but just SMS via their um, system. So you can type with your computer. So that's kind of like a, a very nice feature that these two do not have. So let's go to a couple of conclusions. So who are these devices for? Oh, one more thing to mention for text messages. These two do not have group text messages, uh, unless you're using pigeon on this one. And again, it's not going to be super reliable. And this one does have group text, group text messages It receives pictures, things of that nature. This one also receives pictures, but it's not going to show them. It's going to tell you, Hey, you receive an MMS and that's about it. Okay, so who are these devices for? Well, number one, these are for people who want simplicity, and that's about it. For the Light Phone 2, uh, they have a lot of support. They have a good track record. Uh, the Mudita Pure does have an issue with certain carriers, especially here in the United States. It does not work super reliably. However, it does work in certain areas, and it does work with T-Mobile. And if, that, if you only want phone calls and maybe one-to-one, -one, uh, these are your kind of like devices that you're going to be looking into. One-to-one um, -to -one text messages, no group text messages, just phone calls. As that's, that's what you're going to be doing. I would say it's okay to purchase these two. They're going to be very simple and they're going to work um, better than most. Most, some flip phones that are very uh, decently priced, very inexpensive are good, but most are just not good support and they have bugs. Um, but I would definitely go with something like this. Uh, now, the Light Phone 2 is my personal device, and it's something that I personally have used for the past three years, and I enjoyed my experience because they have continued to improve, and they do not leave it behind. After three years, they're committed to updating this device and making it better and better every year, which has been 
fulfilling every single year, which I enjoy using. So if you're looking to spend a little bit more on your dumb phone journey and you want a simple device, any of these three, I think it's a good option if you know what you're getting into. If you want something super simple, just calls essentially and one-to-one text messages, these two. Uh, even then, um, I would kind of double check. The Punk Tempi Series 2 is going to have better connectivity. Uh, this one is going to have better support over time and hopefully they fix some of these issues that we're seeing here in the United States. If you're in Europe, the Mudita Pure is probably going to be a pretty decent option, but check their forums to see what the problems are. Punk Tempi Series 2, I will put it on hold right now, wait for them to uh, truly fix a lot of the issues and update it a little bit more uh, to see, hey, you know, it's going to be a supported device. And of course, the iPhone 2, um, again, I, I, I personally have been using it for three years and I personally enjoy it. There will be links to purchase all of these in the description below. And if you have any extra questions, make sure to put it there and I'll be interacting with you guys in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching this video and please keep bringing the suggestions. I will continue to compare devices as we wait for new releases in the new year. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.